Have it still been a lot of people coming out? Boating lately? Say that again? I said, have it still been a lot of people coming out? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we get a decent amount from the stack house. We got about a handful of people almost never, never stop. Right. Man, let me put this video out there to y'all real quick while I'm going slow on my boat, going through a minimum wake area right now, going under a bridge. Man, I've been getting to it, been getting to it. So my subscribers, you know, sometimes I get, hey Manny, man, you know, put some videos out about your boat, you know, a little bit more. I try to post, you know, little quick videos on my Instagram, but I'm gonna just put out, you know, a video today and then maybe this video when I'm talking about boating out there might inspire somebody to go get a boat. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's about in life. It's about that inspiration. Inspiration. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. You know, so, man, I've been neglecting my boat for about the past two months. I haven't washed it. I ain't done nothing to it. You know, but today, I was like, man, let me stop being lazy. It's feeling good out here too. So I came out, washed my boat up pretty good. I was gonna pay somebody to come detail it. And then I was like, man, I got this guy in my neighborhood. He detailed boats, that's his whole business. And um, I told him the other day ago, I was gonna set an appointment with him. Then I woke up this morning like, man, let me stop being lazy. You know, let me get on out there, you know, cause I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't even like washing their personal cars themselves these days. Everybody just going through the car wash. So it's the same thing with the boat too. Once y'all go get one, you're gonna get tired of cleaning it, you know? But like I said, I just wanna put this quick little video out to y'all today on uh, just about, you know, my boating experience. So I bought my boat last year. Can't remember the month now, but it was sometime last year. Uh, I got a 2020, so I bought a brand new last year, 2020 stingray so 2020 stingray i paid 30 i think it was like 35,000 for it so i don't think that's expensive or nothing for a boat it was brand new it's a 90 engine so i could go like 40 miles per hour i mean it's pretty fast when you out on the water though you know what i'm saying so um but you start seeing people with more and more, you know, that's just like cars. So if you guys want to go get a bigger engine, you guys could go faster. But like I say, about 40 to 45 miles per hour on the water, that's pretty fast when you out here, just feel like you're skating, you know? So um, it's like, uh, so anyway, about 40 miles per hour. And like I say, you guys can always keep upgrading, you know, your engine and all. Uh, so how did I get off into boating? I mean, I just always wanted a boat. I always loved the water. That's why I joined the United States Navy because I always wanted to go out on the ship and uh, be out in that water, man. My favorite movie of all times is Antoine Fisher. And I remember, even till this day, I just watched Ant uh, Antoine Fisher the other day ago. But even till this day, even going under this bridge right now, I remember Antoine Fisher was on that uh, boat, the USS Bellawood, which was an actual ship too in the United States Navy. And I remember him sailing under the Coronado Bridge on the USS Bellawood. And I used to watch that movie all the time before I um, joined the Navy. And one day I just end up doing the same scene I was replaying that same scene when I was in the United States Navy. I had got stationed down in San Diego and we used to have to go under the Coronado Bridge when we used to go out into the ocean and when we, when we used to go out to sea. So man, that's amazing too. Like everything I put in my mind, it seemed like it always come true for me. You know, just as long as I'm putting in the action and the work. So back on the boat real quick. I didn't know nothing about boating, absolutely nothing. I moved back down to Florida and one weekend I took my family out and we rented a boat. And from that day, it sold me. Like I say in life, it only take you one time to realize this certain feeling you having 
and then from there you have to execute on it. I went out there on that water one time and then like maybe about two months later, I purchased my boat. But I was in between, between a boat and jet skis. I was gonna go buy two jet skis and that still would have been cheaper than buying a boat. But once I came out on the boat, I'm like, man, I like to relax. You know what I'm saying? I like to relax. You can't really relax like this. This feels like you really on some boss shit when you out here. You know what I'm saying right now? When you able to just kick your feet up and relax. You can't do that on a jet ski though. But I'm gonna still in, uh, invest into at least one jet ski because jet skis are fun too though. You know, but I like being out here on the boat. So I didn't know absolutely nothing. I rented that boat and then from there, like I say, about two months later, for about two straight months or something like that, I was just on the hunt for a boat in jet skis. And then I came across this. I like the price. I like everything about it. You know what I'm saying? It's a Stingray. I feel like this like the Corvette Stingray on the water. You know, when I be out here too. Cause like I say, it's pretty fast too, to me on the water, at least right now. You know, I ain't trying to go out into no ocean or nothing. I just want to be straight on streams and rivers and lakes, stuff like that, you know? So, um, anyway, like I said, I didn't know anything about boats, but I'm always willing to learn. So I went out, I was watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos, you know? And then I went out, got my boat. And then from there, I started to, uh, you know, learn a whole lot about boating. You know, just basic, basic boating 101, how to read your signs, you know, on the, on the water. Thought a boat was coming behind me. I was about to say, they going too fast. We supposed to be in the minimum weight. But how to read the signs, Driving a boat on the water is just like driving a car, to be honest. You know? It's just like driving a car. It ain't really no different. They got all the signs on the on the water. You know, gonna let you know where's your right and your left limit so that you make sure that you always in deep enough depth of water while traveling so that you ain't running into any shallow uh, area. They got all of your signs that's letting you know what's the speed, um, what's coming up. You got places where you could just go and get fuel at. You got restaurants, you know, off the river. I mean, it's just like driving a car, just like a city. You know, it ain't really no different out here. So, only thing I like about it is, then driving a car is that it ain't nothing but pure scenery. It's a different vision right here, different vision. That's why I wanna learn how to fly. So I can start looking from the world from another perspective. That's what you gotta do in this life. You gotta look at the world at different perspectives, different points of views, never be one way. If you think about, if you have to make a decision about something or if you have to give a, uh, an opinion in life, always look at it on both sides too. Excuse me, I always look at it on both sides. But anyway, man, I'm at uh, eight minutes and 30 seconds on this video and I am about to be coming up on a good straightaway so I can get up on this gas. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm gonna continue this video for y'all out there. Next time I talk about uh, a little bit more about uh, where to keep your boat at, how to launch your boat from the boat ramp. Um, if you want to keep it at a marina. Execute and be obsessed Running miles every day Keep me free of stress free. Travel in your own lane There isn't any traffic None. Moving quick and strategic Gotta secure the package the Gotta take it and make it More than what it's worth, it's worth. I came up from the bottom Used to be in the dirt Self-made and doing things Extraordinary Dang. Growing lateral and vertical It's more than scary, scary. 
self-made, doing things extraordinary. Generational wealth accumulated before I'm buried. This is a many move. Yeah, this is how many move. Yeah, this is a many move. Yeah, this is how many move. Yeah, dispatching trucks, trucks, broke to get bucks. I got dudes pulling up, giving knowledge. That's what's up. Yeah, this is a many move. Yeah, this is how many move. Yeah, this is a many move. Yeah, this is how many move. Yeah, dispatching trucks, trucks, broke to get bucks. I got dudes pulling up, giving knowledge. That's what's up. CEO. Commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.